Hey guys, this is Toner, and today we've got the official, official kits for Absorbing Man, for Kang the Conqueror, and for Moonstone. Uh, if you don't know, these are the new characters coming to uh, the Masters of Evil team, and we're going to talk about them and compare them to the leaks that I provided you guys from their accidental, you know, adding it in. So, first up we've got, obviously, Absorbing Man, Villain, Global, Mystic, Protector, Masters of Evil. Look at this. Villain, Global Mystics, Protector, Masters of Evil. His basic is exactly the same. He's going to attack and the primary target, copy and clear two positive effects, excluding stealth and taunt from the primary target to self. If they have vulnerable, gain plus two. So this is exactly what I had here. I just, you know, didn't include this limit of five there. And um, instead of, like, I use copy and clear, I use transfer, which is, you know, Almost the same thing. They're slightly, slightly different there. All right. Then is ISO attack. They actually included the ISO attacks in the blog, which is great. Uh, if you don't know, this is the blog that was provided to us by um, Boundless. So that way we're able to film videos and stuff like that. So... Yeah, uh, this is exactly the same here, the ISO attack, and they're actually included in here, which is great. Huge, huge shout out to Archangel for this. Now, his special here. So, the special that I have is copy and clear all tr negative effects from himself, from all Masters of Evil allies to himself, then flip all of them into positive, apply offense down for two turns to the primary target, attack the primary and adjacent, clear taunt, and then gain taunt. So, let's see. Transfer all negative effects to self. Flip all negative effects into positive. Apply. So this part here I got wrong. I said to all enemies. It should have been just the primary. The damage is correct. The clear taunt is correct. The gain taunt and then the gain taunt for two turns is correct. So that's all right. His ultimate here. We've got here. Clear all negative effects from himself. In Crucible, heal self for 40%. Attack the primary target for damage and clear all positive effects. In Crucible, apply deflect and immunity to all self. Yep, that's exactly what I've got here. Clear all negative effects. Uh, in Crucible, heal for 40%. Attack the primary target. And then that. Even the cooldown's correct. And then he's passive here. So, where is it? Yeah. On spawn, gain taunt and three deflex. On crucible offense, apply four counter. That's what we've got here and here. We've got when this character is attacked, copy and clear one positive effect, excluding that, and gain one defense up, up to a max of three. That's exactly what we've got here. In crucible, on block, heal for 5%. Yep. This here. Uh, if they have, uh, if this character has taunt, fill, speed bar. Yep. That's exactly what we've got there. And then the game, the uh, armor and resistance and then extra armor and resistance which is exactly what we've got so it looks like that one it looks like as i said like when i did this video uh, i talked to you guys and i was like look it looks like they've just accidentally added this in uh from the next patch which you know the next patch is not long away this is probably like the next patch is probably looking at like the first of feb i would say given they've just revealed three characters there's only really one other character which is big man apocalypse himself so we'll see all right, then we've got Kang the Conqueror. Uh, they actually have, like, no explanation in here as to why Kang is on this team. They're like, look, he's from the 40th century, and he does all this stuff, and it's like, why? Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Kang's kit, I do believe they've changed. So, here, gain the piercing and then the speed button. It says... Uh, this attack ignores defense up and can't be counted. So when I did this, I put 720% piercing. Now, da uh, defense down reduces damage by 50%. Um, so 760, technically that would be what, 480? Uh, sorry, 360. No, I, I can't do maths at the moment. 520, I believe it is. Um, but I think think what they've ended up doing is they've changed this so instead of this is ignore defense up instead of the deal the additional this is double damage to anyone who does defense up so that's slightly different now his passive here 230 ignore defense up 20 percent. so that's exactly the same his special uh, sorry that was his safety safety is the name for iso eight counters assists etc 
His special here, on offense, clear barrier from the primary and adjacents, attack them for 720, it's got the ignored defense, gain one per crit, apply slow for two turns, and apply offense up. So that's exactly what we've got here, um, except for, you know, I, I've had this wrong here. We've got the ultimate here. Um, where, where are we? The ultimate. On Crucible, offense, clear the barrier and all death proof on all enemies. Attack all enemies for 300% piercing. Ignore defense up and clear three positive effects. Uh, anyone killed by this attack cannot be revived. Reduce the speed bar by 10% for all enemies. Apply speed up for two turns. So that's what we've got here, except I put reduced by 10%. I think I talked about this in the video that it's most likely um, going to be 10% for all enemies. So... That's exactly what we've got here. Can't it's unavoidable and can't be blocked in Crucible, as you got, uh, it, which I've got here, uh, and still the same cooldown as well. Actually, no, that's a slightly different cooldown as well. It, instead of four six, it's five six. So this should be ready. I believe this is ready turn one or I thought I thought that was turn one. Is they gain an energy on turn one? But I must be wrong. All right, and then finally, this here is very different. So this here, in uh, here he had charged and stuff. It looks like they've got rid of the charged and it's doing different stuff now. So on turn, he's going to attack all enemies for 30% piercing that ignores defense up. So that is definitely different. In Crucible, he's going to clear all speed up on all enemies, which we did not have in here as well. He's going to gain crit chance for self and masters of allies, which we had here as well as the crit damage. However, the crit damage looks, yeah, crit damage there as well. Except, uh, looks like Kang actually d gains 40% crit damage, uh, while Masters of Evil only gain 10%. In Crucible, 20% for all who have offense up, which I had here, except that was tied to charged originally. All right, well, that was accidentally my Facebook there. Um, on spawn, gain speed up for two turns. Again, that was not there. When an enemy gains speed up, fill speed bar for this character by 10%. Not there. Uh, and the extra crit chance and crit damage was there, but it was tied to uh, charge. So it looks like they've got rid of a charged between when they initially created this character uh, and the, the kit that they had there and when they actually kind of put it into the game. So most likely these characters must have been like some, like Absorbing Man was fully fully in integrated and it was 100%. Kang slightly off in the passive. So then we've got Moonstone here. Moonstone, there was a few people bringing up the fact that her passive wasn't doing much, so maybe they've changed that. Villain Global, Bio Controller, Masters of Evil, exactly right. Attack and apply defense down for two turns. Yep, that's exactly what we've got. And if they're vulnerable, gain one energy. And the same with the uh, with the ISO attack here was exactly right. The special, the special, um, reduce the speed bar by the enemy with the highest damage, excluding the primary target by 20% and mind control that enemy to attack the primary target. So that was slightly different, I believe, in the thing. I could have got that wrong. Um... To me, I thought that was what it was, but I must have, like, I must have reversed this. Reversed it, and instead of it being mind control um, to attack the primary target, uh, it, to attack the highest damage, it was mind control the other direction. So, attack the primary target for 40% and apply stun and defense down. That's exactly what we've got here. And then apply disrupt and trauma for one turn too. Her ultimate, attack the primary and adjacent for 250% damage and apply Two turns of defense down, up to a maximum of three. That's what we've got here. In Crucible, apply stun to the primary target and reduce the speed bar of... See, I've got reduce the speed bar here of each target by 20% and apply stun. So that's exactly right. That's what we had here. The cooldowns are exactly right. And then her passive, finally. Her passive's got a fair bit more here. On turn, if she has at least one ally gain evade, which is what we had originally, but then they've added some more stuff in. If this character has one or more Masters of Ally, heal for 10%. If they have two or more, gain 10% barrier. If they have three or more, clear one positive effect from the enemy with the most resistance. If they have four or more, transfer one negative effect, excluding ability block and stun from self to the enemy with the least resistance. 
Keep in mind that when it says Masters of Evil Allies, I believe that should count the summoned minions from Ultron. They all have the Masters of Evil uh, tag, so that should count all of those. And then finally, we've got 50% extra focus and then 100% extra focus on offense, which is exactly the same. So... I guess a big part about this is that kits that we do happen to accidentally data mine, like the ones that we did here, are potentially wrong. Now, while some of it could, could have come down to interpretation, like, for example, we talked about the, the turns bar reduction here, some of it is literally changed. Like, in this, they 100% had stuff to do with charge and everything like that for Kang's passive. However, they obviously got rid of that. So, there's kind of a couple of takes away. First of all, character set characters aren't set in stone until they actually are released into the game not even these blogs i wouldn't even say this blog is a hundred percent because they've given out blogs before that were incorrect and and like stuff was has been wrong in the blogs before so until it's actually in the game the kit's not 100% set in stone. Um, they also don't mention about the ultron rework that we data mined in here maybe that doesn't end up happening who knows um Kang is set. Kang seems to be a lot stronger than what we data mined. Like all of this stuff, like clearing speed up and doing this stuff with speed up here is crazy. This is this is really really cool. Uh, his abilities times up foreseen strikes. That's really cool as well. Uh, and then Moonstone obviously got a huge buff to her passive beyond what we had in the data mines. But I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you think? That's it for today. Have a great day. Goodbye.